when they made the um, approvals for the free the freeways, well, the Fremont Bridge was dropped right directly through that, that area. And so our childhood is basically gone. And I've talked to so many of my friends, and they'll say, like, you know, it's like we were displaced, that we just didn't exist. It was wiped out. And I don't know, unless that's happened to you, I don't think you can really know what a feeling that is. It's like a hole in your, in your, in your existence, because you no longer have that, that's where I live, that continuum. And it's been like that all the time, like, as, as soon as they get an established, Community is uprooted again, and then they're put somewhere else. And the recent one is that they're putting all of the black people now out in the numbers, and there's very few in the area where we were basically. Anyway. Okay, so we're going to go to My writing is, it encompasses a lot of things. It's not just one subject. I write about it's according to what my muse tell me. I was labeled as being indigent, but I still let them know that I was aware of it. So that you had trouble with people? A lot, a lot, a lot. <clears throat> but it didn't stop my work. Um, so do you still, like you said, the neighborhood where you used to be, it was just this place, and you talk about it with a lot of people. Um, <clears throat> do a lot of people that you don't know still live here in Portland? Yes, they do. Oh yeah, yeah. We even have uh, me, uh, we meet uh, a lot of we, we at first when we started was called the gathering. Uh, we started meeting with people. Some of our people were dying, and then we decided.